and John and Oh yeah, Sarah was telling me. Yeah. You gotta give me more than this, because that made it really like I know you know stuff, and then when I ask you questions, you never ever give me anything back. And that really sets me off. I kind of feel a little bit the same about you though. We should probably just sit down and have a good talk. I every single time we talk, I have to tell I have to tell you what's on the go or what's happening. Half the time you know. And like when I just I ask you that. I literally don't know half the time. I didn't know what you were even talking about, though. But you did. I said about it, John. You're like, what about John? Obviously, you knew that Sarah had talked to you about that stuff. But I, what specifically? Like, just about him wilding out angry? Like, no, about him going behind everyone's back and telling like Rochelle and them that like he's like, oh, I don't trust Kenny. Do you trust Kenny? Um, oh, fuck, I don't even know what he said now. But, anyways, he's basically, I honestly don't believe that. I do. Okay. I do. I definitely do, because he's done it before. Yeah. He's done it before. I and think people are stirring stuff up. That is just my opinion. But it came from Savvy as well. Okay. So do you not trust Savvy? I trust Savvy, but I also know she's lied, like, to us. Totally. That's the thing, like, totally. we should probably talk more. Yeah. We should, because I don't want you to feel that way about me. I want you in this game, for real. Well, I mean, when we have conversations like this and you give me nothing, and then I see you talking with Adele, and then with Heather, and all that stuff, obviously my mind starts working. So, it's, it's hard. I don't know what to tell you, man. I actually don't. I can tell you're questioning things. Oh no, like obviously I'm still ta I'm talking to you right now about mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you what it looks like. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like I'm, well I guess not clearly to you first five all the way, but that's the way I've always been looking at this. Okay, just having a conversation. Just want to find out where your head's at. So tell me where your head's at. First five all the way. I win next week. I'm putting up. So current situation with everything that's going on. What would you like to know? How do you feel about John? How do you feel about Adele? How do you feel about Heather? How do you feel about Netta? How do you uh, feel about basically everyone else but the first five? I feel like they're all banding together. I feel like Sabrina's close with some people that I'm not with and I'm not sure if she's telling me everything. I feel like she's telling me most things and that's good. I feel fairly comfortable with the first five. Um, I can tell you're questioning things from this conversation, which is completely throwing me off because I didn't think that at all eight seconds ago. Well, literally, I'm just thinking this now because of... ...conversations have been had with you, and when I ask you a question of, like, what are you thinking, what's up, and you give me, like, about what, obviously you know that things have been said and conversations have been had, so I, I, don't, I didn't think I'd have to be specific enough to say this and this and this. There's a general consensus of what things are going on and stuff. So I assume being in an alliance with you, you would know that you can give me your opinions on what's happening. And you don't. I don't know. I always just give my opinions, but they don't seem to be as valid as other people's. So I started just sitting back more. That's not true at all. Everybody has opinions in this thing just because they're not accepted or agreed upon. Hi. May I grab a couple almonds and run out of here? You can do whatever you like, my treasure. I don't know how I can convince you not to have any questions about me. Um, well, you can convince me by being open with me and talking with me. When I hear stuff, I keep things to myself because I try and figure out if they're valid or not. I know a lot of things get said in this house that are bullshit. And Absolutely. I don't like it when people tell me things and I'm not sure if they're true or not. Yeah, but when I, when I come to you and I ask you an opinion, like, so what's on the go? How do you feel about things? And you're like, about what? There's... When you ask me about the John thing, unless John's playing a lot smarter game than I think. He 
hates Rochelle and doesn't trust her at all. So when I hear Sabrina say that John tried to pull Rochelle in and talk to her, I feel like that is not true. So I have no reason to say it. I actually don't think that's true though. And I feel like she's been doing a lot of things to make us hate certain people that make her game better. If you want me to just, I'm afraid to say that to you though, man, because it's fucking Sabrina. Yeah, but Sabrina is Sabrina. Uh, because I don't know where I stand between you. I, like, I obviously trust Sabrina a lot and I want to go far with her, but I know she's lying to me to better her game and position lying herself you. better. Like, just, she says certain things that... She does lie a lot, yes. A lot, and she backs them up saying like she was there when so, and then or she swears she on her head and all that stuff. Yeah, and the thing is, I don't know how to say to you that because I don't know if your allegiance is more to her than me. If you want me to be straight the fuck up. Well, I do want you to be straight well, the fuck up. Well, that is me being straight. I agree with you wholeheartedly. She never, she almost never tells the truth, and when she does, it's usually stretched. She swears on her head all the time. She's... Basically, she stretches truths to benefit her in a oh, lot of different situations, so and I know that. So I take usually what she says with a grain of salt, mm -hmm. but when it comes to me in different forms from different people, that's when I start believing it, because things were said and seen beforehand, and now they're kind of resurfacing, resurfacing again from like Rochelle, from Savvy, like from different people. And then from Netta, Netta will go to, to another person and say something like, oh, Kenny, uh, I think he'd throw me under the bus for Kenny and stuff like that. I know that's not true. He loves Netta. I, and he's like, he tells me that Netta doesn't tell him anything whatsoever. They never talk game. But I see them whispering all the time. I mean, it's, it's, it's the game. People talk the game. It's ridiculous to think that they wouldn't. So little seeds here and there being put together, they make a pretty sinister plant. I hear what you're saying, man, and I do, and I can see how me being a little quieter, afraid to say the wrong thing at the wrong time, might be perceived in the wrong way. Well, you don't have you can you can talk to me and spitball with me. It's not saying the wrong thing. At but the again, wrong time. you have it's to understand how I'm a little tentative when it comes to Sabrina because she's been a well, yes. golden goddess. Well, yes, but I don't, I don't, like, I don't go with, to Sabrina with everything that anyone says to me. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, Sabrina is a very important role in, in this alliance, and, and I trust her as much as I need to trust her. Mm -hmm. But I know that she's here for herself, and she's going to, like, I mean, she, even when Gorda went up, she, Gorda's like her best friend, and she was wording it a different way, but she was still campaigning against him. She was saying she wasn't campaigning for him, uh, campaigning against him in the same sentence that she was campaigning against. Exactly. So, like, I'm not stupid. I know what and she's I know like, and I know stupid. what she, what she, and no, I, I, I no, know. No, I know. I just want to say that, though. Like, but, like, I know who she is and what she's all about. And I know that she's very important to our alliance, but it's still a filter of what goes to her because she's very high strung and emotional and not only can she explode but she can stretch a lot of things that are said so i know that so like you don't need to worry about that coming from me and going to her mm -hmm. but i like i need you to be open with me because when i see you with adele all the time and i know what he's like and i know him and heather have something on the go now and i know heather was with netta all day it's very easy to put the pins together and, and then Netta's with John, so then when I ask you about John and you tell me what are you talking about, and I see you well, with Adele... Well, I wanted to like know it's... specifically what you were talking about, because I thought you were talking about this specific incident that I honestly didn't believe was true. I felt like it was a fabrication pulled out of thin air to maybe do this. I don't know. I yeah, honestly yeah. don't know, man. And the thing is, I'm with you. I'm with Sabrina. I'm with Sarah. But I'm afraid that Sabrina's setting herself up in such a pretty position that it's gonna fuck us. And I'm afraid to say that out loud. I'm really no, afraid she to is. say it. And it's scary, man. She absolutely is. She's building a very good case for herself in a She's lot of ways. She's making us promise to keep Rochelle forever. And Rochelle, like, I don't mind doing it. Rochelle did a solid for us, but Rochelle's but got Sabrina's back at the end of the that's, day. That's, for right now, it's a necessity. I, I agree with that, like one wholeheartedly, 100%. But very soon I see the other side coming together, and I honestly don't think they have the stones to come to me when they see how attached I've been to you and Andrew this whole game. You think, like, I literally have been, and it's been blatantly obvious. I don't, and John was in it or whatever, so he knows about the three of us, like, openly. I don't think 
You know, they they know they, they know it wouldn't work. Like I, but he's he's very uh, John is very intelligent, and I'm oh, I'm one of the tricky the only one. Yeah. yeah. What's up, tits? Just chillin', chillaxin'.